Hey everyone, welcome to your 12th JavaScript video, basics of JavaScript, in which we're going to take a look at very interesting, however, very important at the same time, and that is known as scoping in JavaScript. So scoping basically just mean how long your variable lives. So I'm going to get rid of this code, and I'm going to start from the scratch and say where my variable is 100, right? And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to say where my age is, let's say, 20, right? I'm going to say if my age is equal to 20, um, I'm going to say where I want is pizza, right? And I'm going to console log all the variables. My variable, I'm going to console log my age and my pizza my age and what i want hit save and you can see i get 120 and pizza now let's just take a look at uh, what's happening here now my variable and my age are at the top of the file and are accessible by this whole file so they are called as global scoped right now what happens is that in javascript whenever you use var there's no such thing as block scope and by block i mean whatever you write inside these two curly braces right so this includes statements which start with statements like if and we're going to come to conditionals later on but for now just bear with me for the scoping part if else um let's say not really functions um it could be like a switch case something like that right so this is considered as a block of statement a for loop can also be considered as a block of statement so when you write this what does javascript look this as so what javascript does is it takes this war i want takes it to the top places it here and does something like i want now this is something advanced this is known as hoisting in javascript but i'm not going to explain you that I just want you to visualize that we have written something like this. What JavaScript would do eventually is take the declaration of this variable outside the block and just replace it with the initialization. So what that means is if you think about it, if you console log, I want here and obviously remove this, it should console log undefined right however if i remove this declaration for you know i just remove everything then i get an error that this is not defined so this clearly means when i do this line what is happening is javascript is taking this declaration placing it above everything removing this war keyword and just replacing it with initialization that is the reason we get undefined because at at this point it has just been declared right it has not been initialized so this is the reason we get undefined however if you try to access something which is neither declared nor initialized then javascript will throw an error so this was a kind of very brief intro to hoisting in javascript as well but don't worry about that we're going to come to that later on what i want you to understand is when you write var inside these blocks javascript treats them like this now what if you don't want javascript to treat it like that what if you do want to have a block scope in JavaScript? That is, a variable created inside this block lives only inside this block. Right now you can see that it lives outside this block as well. So to do that, what you have to do is instead of making use of var keyword here, which obviously produces undefined because it is also accessible outside um, the block, you're gonna make use of let, right? And hit save. Now you will see that we get I want is not defined. Even if I remove the statement and hit save, we still get this error with this line, right? And you can see that uh, VS Code syntax highlighting also shows that I want is declared, but it is its value is never read. However, if you try war, it does not throw up any errors because it know it's, it knows that we are using it here. So when you use let, it is block scoped. That means anything that comes inside these curly braces is uh, basically where it would live forever, right? 
Now, if you want to make it accessible in the global scope, you have to manually declare it outside. Once you do that, you can replace it just like this. It's safe and you're good to go. However, again, if you want, if you replace I want with something else, let's just say burger here. And if you console.log I want here, you're going to get burger, right? And obviously you don't get anything because it is undefined. So we get burger 120 pizza. So why is that? Because our global scoped I want is pizza. We get to this if call. When we are at this line, I want is replaced by burger. Now it's not really replaced. It's just that we have overridden global variables, um, you know, place inside this block scope. So whenever you refer to I want inside this block scope, it would be referred by burger, right? Instead of pizza. And that is because you have made use of let. If you remove this let, hit save, then you are actually directly modifying your global variable. See, if I replace this let with nothing, I get burger at both the ends. So you need let to create a specific local variable, a specific block level variable, right? If this comes at confusing to you if you're confused don't worry watch this video again you're gonna it's gonna it's gonna make sense and uh, obviously try it out on your own to understand stuff right you always you will obviously be having challenges after this video if you're watching this on codedam.com so that's not a problem if you're watching this on youtube well you know i recommend watching it on codedam so that you can eventually learn with the quizzes tasks challenges articles stuff like that at um while you're watching the videos so that's a plus point anyway so this was a difference between global variables and block scope block scoped variables now it's not like that you can basically access war almost everywhere war are basically function scoped so i have function my variable my function let's just say and i say war a is equal to 100 i cannot access this um, a variable right here even if I call my function see we get an error however if this is just a normal block if I save this and if I obviously remove this you see we get 100 because well you can literally create a block like this anytime right it does not matter so this creates a block obviously you can have some if statement in front of it but it does not really matter right so however this is again not the case with let see you're gonna get um this error and let me just plug in my charts here real quick all right so now let's just create a function just like we were doing and you can see that if i call this function i cannot access a outside this function right so var when you create variables with var they are function scoped instead of block scoped and when you create variables with let they are obviously block scoped and block scoped essentially means that they are function scoped as well right so that that goes without saying and uh, what about const well const is just like let but it's a constant variable that means you cannot change its value so you cannot down the line modify here like you cannot do this it would throw an error right other than that const is just like let so this was a very quick tutorial on scoping in javascript and this was a very basic tutorial indeed because we have not covered a lot of interesting edge cases and side cases of scoping in javascript which i do not really intend to cover at this moment at this particular moment as well because it's gonna eventually confuse you so we're gonna come to that later on inside our intermediate or advanced javascript playlist but for now i guess that that much is enough so that's all for this video and uh, i'll see you then in the next one